Well, the JSB is slightly firmer in afternoon trade, while global peers have been mixed with volatility continuing to grip the markets on concern that the U.S. Federal Reserve's aggressive stance uh, to fight high inflation will push the U.S. into recession. Let's speak to Michael Traherne, Portfolio Manager at Vestac, to give us an idea of where things stand at midday trade. Michael, good to see you as always. The Rand uh, seemingly firming against major currencies. Talk to us about those uh, influencing factors around trade. Yeah, afternoon, uh, Tim Bikile. The JSC all share currently up 0.5%, a uh, bit of a volatile day so far. We did open in the red. Uh, thankfully, we have recovered. Uh, something similar for our currency, it's been all over the place. Uh, like you said, though, the, the US Fed is what everyone's focusing on. They uh, will give their interest rate decision later this evening, um, and that's going to be driving global markets, it's going to be driving currencies, and it's going to be driving uh, commodity prices. Um, so it looks like the market's in a bit of a wait-and-see mode at the moment. Um, and if the Fed announces more aggressive interest rate hikes than people were expecting, uh, you can expect a, a very, very bad day for markets tomorrow. Mm, and worth noting around that European scramble for resources around the energy sector, oil, we're now hearing that South African coal producers are in fact uh, benefiting somehow. Yes, so it's uh, data out of the Richards Bay coal terminal uh, points towards Europe having bought more coal from South Africa this year in the first, what, five months uh, than they did in the entire 2021. Um, and it shows a shift away from Russian-based uh, energy towards uh, other global players. Um, and South Africa is in the fortunate position that we supply many of the resources that uh, Russia supplies as well. Um, obviously, for, for South Africa, a big thing for us is to make sure that uh, we can get uh, these resources on railway lines that are working on time and uh, to Richards Bay so that we can export them. Mm. Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola Co. at least, opting to delay the planned initial public offering of part of its stake in the African bottler that it's been working with. Um, what is the thinking behind that decision? Yes, so uh, a tough global environment. Uh, so they want to delay things until it looks a bit rosier so that they can make more money on, on the IPO. Uh, this is a bottling stake that uh, they inherited or they bought from AB InBev when AB InBev bought um, uh, SAB Miller a few years ago. Um, and they've been looking to either sell it or list it uh, for the last five or six years. Um, but the timing just never seemed right. So they, they've delayed it a bit longer. Let's see. Um, it's a bit of a blow for the JSC because this would have been one of the first major listings we've had in quite a few years. Um, we're going to have to wait uh, a little bit longer to get there. We're also learning that short-term credit extension uh, picked up a little in the fourth quarter of last year, 2021. Alton Fintech's uh, short-term credit impact index rose at uh, two points. Make sense of those numbers for us. Yes, so this is uh, short-term loans, anything under six months and less than 8,000 rand. Um, so it's specifically looking at your more low-income households. Um, and generally speaking, an increase in the credits uh, points to a better uh, financial situation of the people applying. Uh, it's worth noting that uh, previously 67% of people who applied were rejected. Um, in the latest release, that has improved slightly to 66%. Um, but overall, it still points to a rather weak uh, financial situation for those in the lower incomes. Um, and it's also worth noting that this number is for the end of 2021, um, and that's before interest rates started to rise. Um, so you can expect their financial situation to probably be in a slightly worse position now than they were last year. Um, but yeah, that, that's what this, this points towards. All right, Portfolio Manager at Vestact, Michael Traherne. Always good to speak to you, Michael. Enjoy the rest of your day.